<laughs> Guys, this is the only tool I need to buy. It's 45 bucks. Made in India? <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Oh my gosh. They have no sales? Net care instruments. Zero sales. Oh, I'm going to change that. Yeah, I'm going to do my own hair transplant. I announced that ages ago. I'm not married yet. Yeah, so if you buy this pen, which has an adjustable chuck, that's cheaper than doing um, the $55 pen from a surgical supply website. You can see um, these types of pens, it's the same thing. It's got a chuck in the end, it's just a metal shaft, but they're way more expensive. So it's smarter just to buy the $6 one from China. It's even better. No, this is a handheld handle with a chuck on the end, just like a drill chuck. And you put the bit into it. Um, instead of putting one of these types of drill bits, I'll be putting a surgical follicular, follicular unit extraction punch into the tip of it. $2.69. That's a cheap hair transplant. You know what? I think this will do it. This will do it, boy. Dollar eighty-two, top-selling product. I'll take it. Let's just do it. Do it big or grow a wig, guys. We're getting everything we need to do our own DIY hair transplant. While I'm at it, people that bought this also bought. Oh man. I don't mind if I do. I'll take a one dollar ten pieces smart circles of scalpel blade handle carving wait a minute. Does it come with the handle? <laughs> comes with a handle. All right. We're going to buy we're going to buy a, a surgical scalpel rather than some rusty exacto knife blades because even though I would trust an exacto knife blade I think these would probably have a shot at being even sharper possibly and we're gonna need extreme levels of precision to clean up the hair follicle clusters we remove
I also want Petri dish. I don't know if that's how you spell it. <laughs> yeah, I spelled it right. Always price plus shipping lowest first, of course. All right, I found one dollar petri dish. I'm gonna use this to store the hair follicles. So here we go. It's only a bug. Hey, I don't mind my hair transplant not being done the first shot. I can do a hundred sessions. It's it's all not a big deal. If you go to a surgeon, he's going to charge you a boatload of money. So he, so he feels pressured to do the whole job in one sitting. I don't need to do that. I can transplant one hair a day. Think of how awesome that would be. One or two transplants a day is all I'd have to do. There's no pressure here at all. It could be a little by little thing. Everything I need. So all you need is this. A little stick, like an X-Acto knife um, handle, with a little um, chuck on the end, which is just an adjustable screw-down thing that causes something to pinch shut to bite the bit into place. Instead of using a drill bit here, we're using um, a tiny punch, which is just a, a stainless steel or titanium, we bought one of each, shaft that's solid, and then the end of it is um, a tube, just like a needle for giving yourself a shot. Um, except the end of it is sharpened with very, very thin walls so that c it can go into your skin, cutting a circle as it enters. Rather than just parting the skin like a needle does, it cuts a circle of skin. And so you just, um, and you have to twist as you enter. That causes the slicing motion. So you twist and press and it enters. You want to only go down. Uh, about two millimeters so that you don't risk damaging the five millimeter deep follicle and then you 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 take it out and then you take your tweezers and you rip the whole thing out bulb and all and then you just stab a hole with another needle into where you want to put it and then you shove it in there um, actually I need to buy the parts to do that all right, I'm going to use solid core wire. Solid wire needles, 17 gauge. Wait, what? $39. What's what's that? I haven't heard of this before now, so now I need to know. Dude, somebody from chat named Iskapeg might have actually helped me. Seriously, like, implanter pens are a beast. I think I understand it. Wow. 
Otherwise, you're trying to stab holes and then take a forceps and try to get the hair to enter the hole, which is far too sexual, first of all. And that's a tiny hole you're aiming for. Whereas with this, in one single motion, you're entering the hair into the hole and creating the hole. Wow. A must. That's a must. This is a vital tool. It's only 40 bucks. I mean, I gotta do it. Okay, so the solid wire needle method basically opens up a hole and they say to use 1.14 millimeters for that method. So you stick a solid wire needle in, remove it, then use a surgical forceps to grab the hair and stick it in there. Um, but with the implanter pen, you, you do both of those in one step. You stick a needle in and the hair is already inserted in the needle. Depress the sponge, the hair gets inserted into the hole. So that's the best way to do it. Um, the speed prevents oozing and blood from having a chance to even start. So I'm going to actually add that to my notes. Um, only fourteen seventy nine. Loving that price, and this is going to change the game. Thank you so much, Iskapeg. You're a beast. What even made you find that? And how did you, how did you know about that? What are you, a surgeon? <laughs> this is making me queasy just watching this. What's gonna. Ugh! That's a long needle! It's going all the way to there! I think he's putting in the anesthetic. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh!
<laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, you realize he's putting in beard hair. This guy wants a full beard. He doesn't have a full enough beard. He's doing a fa um a beard implant. Because you can see the nose was right here. Like above the index finger. This is his um, jawline. See, that's the nose and mouth at the top. That's hilarious. He's getting a beard implant. I mean, I could see doing this for balding, but doing this to have a full, a fuller beard is just to me hilarious. He's, he wants sideburns too. Look at that. He's getting sideburn implants. I didn't know you could even do that. I never even thought of that. Then it shows the top of the head on the before and after. He wasn't even doing hair transplants on the top of the head. Wow, what a difference. Alright, I'm going to go with this for my anesthetic. It contains... Benzocaine. It's an oral anesthetic, so it's technically for like... Uh... dental work but I I think it's all it does say tattoos in the title so it should be fine for a hair transplant plus I don't know it might be it might be good for me to feel um, like if I if I went with a full anesthetic to the point where the whole area is so numb I don't feel anything I feel like that would be disadvantage because if I can feel the needle when it touches, that will give more, um, well, it's just like you can tie your shoe with your eyes closed because you can feel the shoe going on. Tactile response. Like, you, if you feel where, where, where the needle's hitting, that will help. If you're looking through mirrors and stuff, you don't know exactly where your hand is, but when you, when you feel around, you can, like, move around, and the way it's touching your skin, you can know if it's in the right spot. Like, it, it'll help at aligning everything. So that's about seven bucks. I think our total our total expenditure now is around um I don't know, seventy tops. Alright, I really don't feel like I need anything else at all. I think we're there.